Right, how to put up a big, pasty, set square gong stand for two gongs. Six pieces, one, two feet, one, two side struts, one, two, two main side uh, bars. These two side bars actually have got another piece inside of them. So strictly speaking, we've got eight pieces, but these two typically have come together. Right, we're gonna start with the strut. We're gonna start with the side of the stand with the hook on it, and either by eye or by, with, you could use a tape measure, measure out the length that we want the set the, the stand to be. I've got a 28 inch gong I'm going to put on the bottom so I don't need it terribly long, a 38 inch on the top. I don't need it terribly long, I'm going to try it by eye and I'm going to first of all tighten the screw on the first side with the hook on it facing me then get the second one measured up so that it's exactly the same. If I've got my eye in right, I won't have to do any more levelling than that. And I'm making sure that those two screws are hand tight. Very important. Right. Next, we take one of the feet. This one has got a, uh, a lock on only one side, so I like that to be uh, facing me. So this is the front. I want the lock side frontwise. So I'm going to put that, this is the bottom of the, the stand. So this goes on, again hand tight. And now we've got this front stand with a foot on. It means that it's now um, solid on the floor and I can start easily constructing the next bit which is I take this strut with its, with its two uh, symbol, uh, uh, gong hooks and I want this to be facing me, the front, downwards obviously because that's the where the gong is going to hang. This just slots on here so I've now got the first strut in all these screws are tightened as I go, exactly the same with the top one, facing downwards with the hooks facing me. Put it in, and now, as you can see, because I've got these feet in here, this is all nice and solid. It's not gonna fall over and roll over when I'm putting the rest of the stand up. Last bit to go. Remember, this has been screwed tight, so it's not going to start moving about when I turn it up. This just slots onto here. All the screws on here are the same, these wing screws. And that just falls into place. There we go. You might have to give it a bit of a push to get it in properly. Give it a waggle to see that everything's good. Last thing. Last foot. Make sure you've got your two locks going in the same direction. With me, I want it on the front. So, there we go. Um, there's one very last thing that we can do if we wanted to. If we find, now we're gonna put it up, you could get somebody to help you, but you, as you can see, this is not difficult to do on your own. I'm just going to carefully, mind I don't hit anything, spin it round, and now we've got a nice, solid stand. Um, we could tighten these up a little bit more no uh, worry how long, Gordon, no worry how long you put that uh, gong stand. One minute, two minute? As long as it's taken now, really. I mean, I've taken a little bit longer in talking about it, but there we are. The other thing is, if I wanted to 
um, make this higher, then I would adjust here. This is better to do before you put any gongs up, but I could adjust here, move this up, unloosen this screw, loosen this screw, and then bring this up or down. And if I did that, I would need a smartphone hat app with a, with a level um, app on it to make sure I've got it level. But otherwise, there we are. Thank you very much.